Yeah, let's do a quick one, by the way. Just uh, not sure what's happening. So I'm actually putting my hands behind my head. So it can obviously recognize the hand, but then it doesn't know what to do with the fingers. So it kind of assumes the fingers are just there. So I'm moving my fingers, but yeah, doesn't know what to do with them. So I'm moving them behind my hand, but they don't don't move on the on the model. Well, not as as I actually move them. Just a weird thing. Yeah, if I place two cameras, uh, then I potentially start having issues with the microphone. It seems like the USB ports cannot uh, handle everything at once. So I'll just do one camera at a time. Let's quickly mention this blog. Yes, it was written by ChatGPT. We need that disclaimer at the bottom. Content is generated by ChatGPT. Yes, this brain implants uh, ethical concern. Yeah, it had some images that it generated before, but they're not great at all. Image background different neural implants sorted by complexity. Let's see what it can do. But the yeah, device, what is it? Zero shot? Is this what zero shot prompt is? Well, I mean, no, because we had all this uh, previous uh, prompts, which will affect, uh, affect the outcome of this one. This is an odd one. Yeah, obviously, when it's putting in text, it's messing up the text. Yeah, I want something more simple. I don't know why it's trying to overcomplicate things. The diagram is not clear at all. The cochlear implant uh, image is uh, not clear. I can't see any cochlear implant uh, in the diagram at all. Can we simplify the diagram and just have uh, very basic examples of uh, neural implants? Maybe stick to one type. Let's see if it does any better. We're actually using those uh, add-ons. Show them in here. So it's using this uh, plugin. Uh, it's called Scholar AI. So it says unleash scientific research. Search 200 million plus peer-reviewed papers and explore images and text from scientific PDFs. Yeah, that's great. And that's actually, yeah, it's a mixed results with it in the past. But now I tried it again and actually produces legit. Um, references. Actually, those um, links here are correct. Some of them not exactly what I was uh, looking for. This one was a good one. So I used this. I also asked it to rewrite some of the paragraphs in uh, in the blog to include, include this specific uh, reference, which it did. Yeah, a lot of the other ones are not actually around. What did I ask for? Yeah, ethical distinction between uh, using implantable neural device for therapeutic processes versus enhancement. This enhancement, let's just simplify that prompt. Yes, yeah, so it's using this uh, open AI. So essentially it's using a uh, doing a um, Google Scholar search using these uh, terms. Right, so we used the first one already. The second one doesn't seem to be relevant because it doesn't seem to mention any ethical concerns. It says the abstract of the third one is not available. The title doesn't seem to be relevant. It's from 2016. It's the DOI link working, yes. So it's good because uh, prior. So why couldn't it pick up the abstract from this? Right, but, well, it's not quite uh, relevant. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that meant to be a cochlear implant? The generated image provides a simplified and clear diagram of a basic neural implant, specifically a cochlear implant. It illustrates <laughs> the main bad. components of the implant, including both the external part that sits behind the ear and the internal part that is implanted in the brain. Each component is labeled for clarity, offering a straightforward visual representation of how a cochlear implant functions. It's this very bad uh, diagram of a cochlear implant doesn't have the cochlea, the behind the ear processor doesn't actually sits behind the ear. Yeah, very bad. I apologize for the inaccuracy in the diagram. And right, so we will give in on that one. I was just uh, looking for a generic image for this article. 
it's titled ethical concern new on implant but uh, yeah i was quite happy with the text and yes we're also able to with this uh, plugin it's called the uh, scholar ai is able to actually uh, generate the uh, legit uh, references papers with actually working uh, links find more papers on the ethics of the subject so let's see if it can find any any more essentially it's doing a keyword uh, search it's using some sort of api for for google scholar i think uh, let's see if it now oh, it keeps coming up with the same the same paper yeah, it always comes up with that one yeah this one is not really relevant yeah it's producing the same results i'm just wondering how it decided to break keywords peer review true now it keeps just finding the same papers can you find any more papers not the same as the first three you found <laughs> this is interesting offset four and this one says next offset eight what uh scaffolds and stem cell no that's off the charts cognitive enhancement well those are psychopharmacological neuro enhancement so not quite relevant no no eh, no it's going places now irrelevant stuff was this for a sec so we'll continue with this uh, blog uh, later